Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog from my bathroom where I am frantically trying to get ready for something that I probably should have gotten ready for a while ago. It's actually just shy of 8 a.m. I literally woke up at like 7.20. Who am I? Usually I have Layla outside by like 6.45 in the morning. I just stayed up late reading last night. But today I am actually doing a bunch of prep stuff to be going out of town in a bit. So I'm going to get a last minute dermatology appointment in this morning. Um, we'll chat. And then I'm also going to be getting my brows done. And then after that I'm getting my nails done. And yes, in case you didn't notice, um, when I have a trip planned, it's all I talk about for months leading up to it. I'm just doing some quick like beach waves in my hair i was gonna walk to this appointment but i think i'm just gonna end up driving i don't know it's a really nice morning the weather has been so on and off in la it's been raining and then beautiful and then raining and then beautiful and like we've gotten proper rain this winter feels like it's rained non-stop since like late december kind of crazy but yeah if you didn't know um i am flying to arizona to go see taylor swift in concert oh my god and then heading back to la packing everything up and going to freaking japan we talked a little bit about it um in december when we booked it and it's been kind of touch and go with layla's health like we've kind of been like are we going are we not going one of the things on my to-do list is to book layla another vet appointment this morning but she's gonna be fine it's just life of a senior pet <laughs> and um yeah i can't believe we're really doing it i'm so excited we're going for 10 days and we're going with some of our friends one of my friends from high school and her husband who we have grown really close with over the years of living in LA and not living in LA. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to start this vlog and say hi and say good morning. Oh my God, I've been talking for almost five minutes. No, I must lose my access to a camera for a little bit. All right, hair is done. Just did a quick little beach wave moment. I'm not wearing makeup because I'm going to the dermatologist. And then I'm also, like I said, going to the brows after that. So there's no point, but I am running late. So let's run over to our appointment and then we'll catch up after. <laughs> I'm breaking in a new pair of Converse today for my trip, so uh, pray for my feet. Alright, just finished at the derm. That was great. I actually ended up getting a Botox touch up while I was there. So I was like, why not? And then I, the reason I went was to get some moles checked just for like regular checkups because that's important. Do that. Make sure, especially if you have skin cancer in your family. And then I also went because I have been, I think I've talked about this periodically on my channel, but I have a really dry scalp and it itches. I don't really have a lot of dandruff, a little bit occasionally, but it just itches so much and I've talked about it before and a lot of you recommended the Nizoral, Nizoral um, shampoo. I've used that off and on for like a year and it's done nothing. So I was like, I need to see a dermatologist about this. She looked at my scalp. She said some of it is irritated, but there actually isn't like dandruff, like a lot of like flakiness. Um, so she prescribed me like a solution to put on my hair at night, to put on my scalp at night. I think it's got like some steroid or something in it. So maybe that will help with some of like the irritation because basically just my scalp is really dry. So I just need to like hydrate it a bit more. So that is the plan. That is what I'm going to do. And then I'll go back when I get back from my trip and then we can check up on those things. Um, but yeah, so that's done. Now I'm headed to my brow appointment. I haven't had my brows done in about four weeks, maybe, maybe five. No, I think it's been like four. I'm not getting them laminated today. I don't think, I think it's been too soon um, in between, but I am going to get them tinted and like shaped and stuff today. So I'll be there in about nine minutes and then I I'm gonna get some like food or Starbucks or something on the way, we'll see. So I might stop in there and then we're gonna get our brows done. Right, brows are now done. Got my Starbucks on the way and this brown sugar ice shaken oat milk espresso, whatever it's called, a million different names, is so good. It's like crack. Mmm, I can't stop. Okay, I haven't put a damn thought into what I want to do for my nails yet, but these will be the nails that I have for Taylor Swift and for Japan. So we have a lot to think about. I don't know. Let's do it. All right, we did it. Finished my nail appointment, went for like a little white chrome. Oh, 
I was at a red light, but it's moving now, so I'm not gonna look at the camera. But now I am headed back to my house. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. Some cramps are setting in and they're pretty bad, honestly. I'm just gonna rest for a little bit and then we're taking Layla to the vet at five o'clock. So busy day, a lot busier than I would like. Um, I don't know how people do this and how they balance it all, but I am trying to get everything done before the trip and I am starving. So we're gonna go home and make some lunch. I can't wait. We're back home. I got a couple of packages. It is not a complete week for me if I don't open a package from Poshmark. I'm so addicted to like searching for everything on Poshmark or even bread up. I love it so much. So this is one of my Poshmark packages. Hold on, got the door open because it's nice out. So here is one of the things that I wanted to get for Tokyo. It might be a little too warm to wear to Tokyo, but it's really cute anyways. Look at it. It's really thick. Um, it's supposed to be raining. Oh, okay. Quite a bit. Oh, so. well then maybe it will be kind of chilly. This is so cute. It's by the brand Just Polly, but I got it secondhand and look at it. It's so cute. I love the teddy bears, it matches my tattoo. It's a lot thicker than I thought. If I don't end up finding somewhere to wear it, I'll just resell it. Just wear it when we're in Osaka and Kyoto because it's colder down there. Oh, and, there we go, okay. Um, it's cloudy. There we go. This next one, is this from Poshmark too? Yes. Oh my God. This is false advertising. They said this sweater was blue. It's great. It's cute though. I was gonna wear this with, it smells like smoke. Okay, well, anyway, I wanted to get like a cute Tommy sweater. I didn't wanna buy a new one. I wanted to like, I always try to look secondhand. And this one is cute, but it said it was navy blue and it's gray. Maybe I misread it, so. We'll see about that one. That one also needs to be washed. And then, I don't remember who I first saw talking about this, but this is a brand called Ceremonia. It's fitting, because you know, I went to the dermatologist today and was talking about like my scalp and stuff. And this is like a scalp oil and I ran out, so I got a new one. And you basically like put it on your scalp to hydrate it and you leave it on either like for 10 to 15 minutes or you can even leave it on for like overnight. Um, and then you shampoo your hair afterwards. And it's called, Asiete de Mosca. I'm not sure if I said that right, but like look at this packaging. So cute I saw people recommending it on Instagram and like look at that adorable And then it just comes in this little plastic bottle. It smells divine. Drew is obsessed with the smell of this too. Oh It smells so good So I'm gonna start being a lot better about oiling my scalp because it's really dry and I think that's what's causing the irritation At least that's what the dermatologist said She basically said like to do a couple of topical things first just to like get those out of the way And then maybe she'll order some blood work so I can see if something else is going on like a deficiency or whatever But yeah, that's my little mini haul Okay, I need to make some lunch do a couple work things and then get ready to take Layla to the vet here in a few hours But yeah, here's what my nails look like super cute chrome shiny just simple for japan and taylor swift i can't believe it but we got a lot to do so we'll reconvene later it's a couple days later and it is a very exciting day in another installment of vacation prep and i am changing my hair color today and i'm very excited i'm actually going to oh god mm. Dog hair, cute. I'm actually going to do a scalp oil treatment because um, I am getting my hair done today. And also, I don't know, one time a hairstylist that I used to have said that she really preferred when her clients would come in with like clean hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it even though it's getting washed later. I don't know, I just wanna, I just wanna do the right thing. So I'm using some of this oil that I opened actually earlier in this vlog. And like literally what I do is I just do that pretty much and then I rub it into my scalp. I'm almost out of this bottle so I'm not sure if I need to use the new one or not but I kind of just go wherever my heart takes me. I'm gonna try to be more diligent about this and try to use it a lot more frequently. I need to take my hair down for this. I'm not gonna start that prescription that the dermatologist gave me until after we get back from our trip. Cause like, I don't know, I don't wanna have a reaction or like have something go wrong. So it's mostly like the top part of my head that's irritated. So it's just what I'm gonna focus on. And then I'm gonna leave this on for like, I don't know, while I make my breakfast, do a couple things. And then I'm gonna jump in the shower and wash it out. I'm just gonna make sure I, <laughs> 
shampoo my scalp really good sometimes i leave this overnight or i'll leave it like all day long well there's a look that is all i do so just brushed it through usually i would do like some olaplex on my ends or something but i will be getting like protein treatments from i almost said the vet from the hairstylist today so there we go gonna get nice and oiled up just try to hydrate my scalp the best i can speaking of the vet though um layla's vet appointment went great long story short she we were giving her a bath this weekend i'm gonna make my breakfast while we chat but um we were giving her a bath this weekend and she shook her head really hard and the poor thing just can't catch a break she gave herself what's called a hematoma on her ear which is essentially like cauliflower ear we took her to the vet and the vet said that she could drain it but that it would just come back. So to really just kind of keep an eye on it, she has some like anti-inflammatory meds, some pain meds in case, and it'll like be, uh, eventually go away. But her little ear is gonna be like collapsed now, which is kind of sad. But anyways, she's all good. Just another day in the life of Layla. <laughs> I love that dog, but my God. We, Drew and I were talking about this the other day, like how many like health things have come up in the last five years. She's torn her ACL and her meniscus and needed surgery for it. She's needed teeth pulled. She's She's had a surgery to remove a tumor on her eye. She's had a hematoma. She's had skin allergies. She's had UTIs. She has weight problems. Um, she's been tested so many different times for so many different things, diabetes, kidney issues, Cushing's disease. Um, she's had ultrasounds. I mean, that's like eight or nine things that I could think of just off the top of my head. And that's literally in the last like, four years, five years. I love her. There's nothing I won't do for her. Um, we're so lucky that we're able to afford that. And also that our vet is literally like 10 minutes away. That's incredible. So I'm not complaining at all. I want to keep her around forever. The vet even said they were like, you know, despite her health issues and like not being able to figure out her weight issue, she's a really like decently healthy dog for a 12 year old. And the fact that, you know, she has lived this long with the health issues that she has is amazing. I was like, Thank you so much. So anyway, I'm gonna do my typical breakfast this morning, which is just a parfait. I am trying to like keep an open mind with food lately because I had like, okay, so the last vlog, I had that weird like stomach thing. This video is filmed before that vlog even comes out. So I don't know like what the response is or what your suggestions were, but that happened like, I don't know, some random weekday. And then the other day, <sighs> I'm like mortified to admit this because I don't know how this happened and I am so particular about food. I have a metaphobia, which is the fear of vomiting and like it controls most of my life. And I was eating a sandwich, which I always do. And I was like, that bread has been in the pantry for a while. So let me just like have a hamburger bun instead when I was making my peanut butter sandwich for lunch. And the hamburger bun, I made sure to like inspect and look at to make sure it was fine, like no mold or anything like that. Pulled it out of the bag, looked at it. And then like the top of it, like, I don't know, I am so so hyper paranoid about everything. Do you need to turn on the light? You can. No. Okay. Drew's making coffee in the background, but I was like, let me just, you know, switch this bun out for a different one because the top looks a little weird and it's probably just in my head, but like, it's fine. Because when I tell you I am so paranoid and switched out the bun, whatever, ate my sandwich. I was sitting there watching a YouTube video, eating my lunch, and then all of a sudden I was like, three quarters of the way done with my sandwich. I don't know what made me do this because I didn't taste anything, but I turned over the bun. I wish I had taken a picture of it. I turned over the bun and the entire bottom of it was spotted with mold spots. It was so <laughs> disgusting. I literally like started yelling. I was like, no, 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 no. And Drew like came running in and he was like, what? And I was like, it's moldy. I genuinely, was freaking out like when i talk about my worst nightmare activated i'm laughing now but it was my worst nightmare come true and i was like oh my god i'm gonna be so sick i called my mom my mom was like i think you're gonna be fine but like i don't know girl and then i took to instagram i asked you all on instagram which by the way i don't read instagram dms anymore really it's just not like um it doesn't bring out the best side of the internet. And so I don't really like read my DMs at all. And I decided to, I was like, please DM me if this has happened to you. And I was chatting with so many of you in the DMs. There were people who were like, I'm a food scientist and you should be totally fine. Or this happened to me and I was completely fine. Or this happened to me and I got really sick, but like wishing for the best for you, whatever. And yeah, I was totally fine. Um, besides the fact that it was 
mortifying and disgusting that there was moldy bread inside of my body and that made me want to vom. It was not my proudest moment. So yeah, I ate moldy bread. And ever since then I have been so like apprehensive about everything I eat. So hopefully that will go away soon because I've made it my entire life as far as I know without eating moldy bread. But yeah, I was completely fine. Didn't even have a stomach ache. So I survived that. Thank God, Moldgate was what I was calling it on Instagram. <laughs> I was just making a joke out of it to try and like not have a panic attack. And I survived, I did it. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna make my coffee, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, gonna wash my hair, and we're gonna get ready to do this fun little hair change. I'm so excited. Well, doing my hair was a complete waste of time because I just took Layla outside and it completely fell out. So here's one final last look at the hair. I have had a really fun, what, four or five month run with this sort of like brondy, brownish hair, but it's time for a change. So let's do it. I'm blonde again. I seriously feel like myself again. The dark was really fun. I think I mentioned that earlier. Like it was a good time. I enjoyed it while it lasted, but I am just so happy to be a blondie again. And I actually went for like a little bit of a haircut just for something fun and spicy. I needed to cut my dead ends off anyways. Um, but yeah, I figured while I was at a red light on the way home, I would show you. I love it so much. There's been a lot of car chats in this vlog. Sorry about that, but that's just my life lately. So anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I am on my way home. I was at the salon for six hours, six hours, but it was worth it. It's so freaking gorgeous. I love it. It feels so good and so healthy too, which is crazy. And it looks so much thicker now that it's cut. So anyway, Drew's making us dinner right now. I'm gonna head home, eat dinner with him. And the next vlog you see will be me going to Taylor Swift. I am so excited. And then the vlog after that will be Japan. I can't believe it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.